Right, now then, we're on to the very first raised bed garden tour. And I've done this video a number of times. But this time I have a little tinker and a little tweak of the, the garden, the raised bed gardens. And then it needs to be filmed again. So if you remember I said on the last video that I'm going to do it straight away, a day later now. So what we'll do is we'll go over there and we'll have a little look at what's happening in the raised bed. There we go, there is the official raised beds and the first garden tour. And we'll start off with the first one, which is this little one here. Now, as you, as you remember, recall, I was saying this one was probably the hardest out of all of them to kind of get built because I had to do it on this little on this little path here. And it just was hard work, heavy as anything. And it just it was just so hard and so awkward to kind of manoeuvre, but they're all in there now, so that's past history. But as you can see there, some spring onions in, and we've got some the Italian Cabaral Nero. Now, I think that might be a kale. Most people call it a kale. A couple of flowers just to spruce up the thing, but looking good. They'll soon be ready for first picking. Then we have over here is the next bed, which is... Sarah Raven. Now I forget the actual beans. They're a dwarf bean. So four rows in there. And they've been planted probably about two weeks there now. Three weeks is it? Coming up. So everything looks good there. Moving on to the next one. We have the, the like a golden beetroot. So you can't see much at the moment. But I think they're called, is it burpees? Have a look there, what's that see down there? Burpees Golden. I don't know if you can see that. So there's three rows, I know there's three rows of beetroot in there. Then we've got some more spring onions in this one. There you go. And they're all set and they're all got a mixture of different soils and compost in, so I'm chuffed with that. Then we have, this is the bed's got quite a number of things in. You can't see them at the moment, but right along the top row there, we've got some beans. Now, I've planted runner beans, and I forgot when I did that, and I went and planted two chilies, which are the ones that I grew from seed, Hungarian hot wax. So I think what I'll do is I'll just let the runner beans come, because the idea is I've planted another row along there. And I'm going to, you know, if they do come up, and they might not even, you know, be too late in the year, but... If they do, then I'm going to build like a trellis up, you know, nice and high up here and get them going over like a little archway. So I've got the Hungarian hot wax chilies in there. We have the couple of butternut squash. There's one there and there's one there. And I think that's a Hungarian hot wax chili as well. And that one there. Then right at the bottom here, we have it's cucumber. Now I never knew you could grow cucumbers outside and I don't think, you know, I'm the northeast of England here so I might struggle, but I seen, I think it was Lovely Greens on YouTube did it. So I've got a bit of trellis up there and we'll give it a go because it was, it was just in a pot so I'll give it a chance. Got one of those summer, I think they're called summer ball courgettes where they're round, like a golden round colour and that chilli in the back there is a Joe's Long. Now I've, I've got all these chilies in the in the polytunnel, but I thought I would try them, you know, in a bed as well. Last year I did them. They were okay outside, but I really neglected them. So I'm going to, you know, I'll feed these and look after them and water them. I'm going to give them a nice water after I was shooting this video. So hopefully they'll come along. In this bed... We have Savoy cabbage and that row of runner beans, but we've got Savoy cabbage in there. And this was where I originally had the Savoy cabbage before I started to build these. And I tried to transplant them, but they were getting underfoot. And I don't think maybe one survived, which I still got. So we'll see. Hopefully they'll come and they'll be all right now. Moving over to the big, the big beds. Over here, these are the six foot by four, but 
yes, that's right, six foot by four foot. And there's four rows of, is it Nantes carrots? Nantes carrots in there and four chilies. I think there's a Jules Long, that one there. And these are probably Hungarian hot wax. I think there's some flowers on, so, you know, we might get some, some chilies. And the reason as well why I do it, even if they don't, it's all compost. You know what I mean? It's all goes on the, on the pile. Now this next bed is, <coughs> is the, the fun bed because I planted them and I have no idea what they are. They, they didn't have a label in the garden centre. And you, I just thought that was the whole reason. Can you tell us what they are? Are there a Brussels sprout? Is there a cauliflower? I'm not 100% sure, to be quite honest. And that's the, the quirky thing about it. You know, it's not knowing what they are. And I've also got two more rows of beetroot in there either side. That burpee is golden. So this bed has a row of lettuce in. And I forget what it's called. What's it called there? Can't quite see. And if you can see there, this is one of the reasons why I don't like to throw anything out once I've grown it from seed, give it a chance. These are just seeds I grew. And I've just pl planted them, you know, a couple of weeks ago. These are hot, some sort of chilli, hot scotch, I think, hot bonnet. I can't remember, I grew them myself and I just wanted to find out if they actually would take and they have. So, I don't expect anything from them, but... There is a, you know, it'll go on the compost bin, if anything. So that is, basically, the beds. And, you know, from the first planting, what I'm noticing is they're so much easier to manage. Do you know what I mean? It's just like planting, there's no backache, there's nothing, there's no, there's no hard work, really. You know, it's all in the nice... Nice gardening, and that's what you want, really. Just an ease. So we'll come back in a, about a month's time, see what's going on, see how things are, and see what's, what's grown and what hasn't grown. Take care, then. Speak to you soon.